Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to spice up your layouts so they look a little bit better than what we just learned before because we already know we have a couple default layouts. I mean, for example, we have VBox, which stacks everything vertically. And this is really good for, like, um, well, for example, this right here where you have a menu where everything is stacked vertically. And we also have HBox which might be good for putting things left and right. I don't know, maybe some of this crap up here we can use HBox. But another layout that I use a bunch is this. This is called a border pane and you see this in pretty much every single piece of software where you have a top section, left, center, right, you usually only have two of these, maybe three columns, and a bottom which, I don't know, might be this little thing down here. So you guys are like, alright, well you know what? Wouldn't it be cool if I could actually put VBox right here, HBox right here, and then have my main content right here? But how am I supposed to do that? Because I can only pick one of these layouts, either Border Pane, HBox, or VBox, right? Well, not exactly. So let's go ahead and learn how to use multiple layouts by embedding them. So essentially what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to show you guys how to use this Border Pane as your main layout template and then we're gonna stick a VBox layout right here and an HBox right here. Now, by the way, before I go any further, whenever I show you guys how to like make a real quick menu at the top, I'm gonna show you um, how to do that using HBox like this. But don't actually use HBox whenever you're making a real application. Um, JavaFX comes with a bunch of different libraries just for making really cool files or drop down menus. So again, this is just a demonstration using HBox to demonstrate embedded layout panes, but don't actually make uh, you know file menus this way. So let's go ahead first and do this. So we'll make it HBox layout and we'll call it top menu, even though again, like I said, you should never use HBox for this. And we'll just set this equal to new HBox. Now let's just make a bunch of buttons to put in there. So like a button, I'll just name this one button A. And then we'll just do some sweet copying and pasting. So new button and what word begins with A? Apples. Actually, let's make this right here. File, edit, and view. So file. And let me just do some of my magic copying and pasting. All right. So file, edit, and view. And I'll name it bun A, B, and C. All right, so now we got a H box. So what we can do from here is this. We can take our entire layout, which is called top menu, and we need to get all the children, add all, and we'll just add them one by one. So button A, button B, and button C. So now we added all of the children to the layout and we'll just do the same exact thing for VBox. So I'm going to copy this, change this HBox to VBox, new VBox, and instead of top menu, I'll name it like a uh, left menu. So again, you might use this for, actually, why does it give me, if you just select this and hit Alt Enter, it'll import everything that you need. All right. So instead of button A, B, and C, we'll say D, E, and F, and let me just pick three words. I'll just actually say D, E, and F, and now add all of those children to the left menu. So D, E, and F. All right, so we now have two layouts. One is horizontal, we have three buttons, left and right, and we have another one called left menu, and these are just three buttons stacked on top of each other. Nothing new here. But now what we want to do is we actually want to make a new border pane, which is a completely different layout, and we'll just name it border pane, and set this equal to new border pane. So from here, we're going to call two methods. The first method is this, set top, and inside here we can actually pass in an entire layout. So for the top, we're going to throw our top menu in there, and again, the top of a border pane is this section right here. So we're taking this entire layout, which is three buttons side by side, and we're sticking it in the top, and now we can take our vertical left menu, 
and just stick it in there for the left. So again, really simple stuff here. Border Bane, set left, and we'll just set this equal to left menu. Simple enough, and now we can get rid of this because we don't want it. What we actually want to stick in there is just a border pane. So pretty simple, let's go ahead and run this and check it out. So again, this entire layout is a border pane in the top section as you guys can see is the beginnings of a little menu even though you know like I said just want to repeat this do not use a uh, hbox for top menus ever and check it out we now have the beginnings of a left little section using embedded layouts pretty sweet and again there's a lot of different layouts that are given to us by default and a lot of these such as I don't know like stack pane grid pane that's a fun one I'm gonna go over in an entirely separate tutorial because there's a bunch of different little nuances I gotta cover but for now hopefully you guys understand that if you wanna start making more complex layouts then one technique that you can do is embedded or embedding layouts within another so uh, yeah that's it for now thank you guys for watching nice little quick tutorial I'll see you guys next time